Welcome to the prayer channel. Today we're being called to honor the King, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. We are reading three scriptures to remind us of why we need to reverence and honor the King. 2 Peter 1 verses 16 to 18 tells us of how Peter heard the voice of God honoring the Son. It says, for we did not follow cleverly devised tales when we made known to you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but we were eyewitnesses of his majesty. For when he received honor and glory from God the Father, such an utterance as this was made to him by the majestic glory. This is my beloved son with whom I am well pleased. And we ourselves heard this utterance made from heaven when we were with him on the holy mountain. Hebrews 2 verse 9 says, But we do see him who was made for a little while lower than the angels, namely Jesus, because of the suffering of death crowned with glory and honour, so that by the grace of God he might taste death for everyone. 1 Peter 2 verse 17 says, Honour all people, love the brotherhood, fear God, honour the King. Lord, we thank you that you are calling us to understand what it means to honour you, to honour the King. Lord, as we understand the word honour means to esteem, to value, or to greatly respect. And Lord, that's what we do for you today, Lord. We greatly respect you, Lord, and we esteem you, Lord, and we greatly value you as our Lord and Saviour. We greatly value you as the King of Kings, and the Lord over our lives. Lord, we want to express our honour and esteem towards you, Lord God. We just want to pour it out today and say, Lord, we honour you. We honour you with our lives. We want honour you with our minds. We honour you with everything we have. Lord, we thank you that you are calling us to recognise that honour is an important attribute in our Christian walk. Lord, it's something that might not necessarily be practiced in society much, but Lord, to honour is to turn and to acknowledge in a respectful way that, Lord, without you we are nothing, Lord. As it says in the Hebrews 2 verse 9, Lord, where it says that it's by the grace of God, Lord, you tasted death for everyone, Lord. It's only because of you, Lord, that we have a way back to the Father. Lord, you did truly taste death for everyone, Lord. And Lord, by the lashes and the stripes that you received on the cross of Calvary, Lord, you made a way for us, Lord. And so how can we do anything but honour you today and say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for all you are, all you do, all you say, all you teach us, Lord. And the way that you spend all your efforts trying to win us over, Lord. You, you do so much to get our attention, to speak to us, to coerce us, to call us, to comfort us, Lord. And I just pray, Lord, that we would turn to you completely today. Lord, we would recognise you in the small things, Lord. Lord, the places and the times that we thought you weren't actually there. Lord, you were there, Lord. And if we look closely enough and analyse enough, Lord, it's obvious that you were always there and you always are there for us, Lord. And Lord, to really honour you is to live a life, Lord, that pleases you. Lord, would you help us, Lord, not to be corrupted by the world, Lord, but instead, Lord, to recognise the enemy of God, to recognise the devil and his foolish tactics, Lord. Lord, to ensure that our hearts aren't darkened, Lord, would we look to you again. Thank you, Lord, that honour is found in God and in Christ Jesus and in our being like him. Lord, as you said in John 15, 8, Lord, honour is found in being like you, Lord, and we are supposed to change into likeness of you, Lord. We're supposed to exhibit the fruits of the Spirit, Lord God. Lord, we're supposed to change in honouring you in everything that we do. So, Lord, help us to develop that godly character that we're called to to, to meditate on and to embrace as we pray daily like this, Lord. Lord, would it change us? Would we have imprints of who we are in you? Lord, would you transform our hearts and our minds? Yes, Lord, transform our hearts and our minds. Lord, if 
if even everything that you've created honors and calls out to you Lord, like even the rocks they say it said that the bible says the rocks cry out in reverence of the lord lord if the rocks can cry out how much more can we cry out lord we cry out today we thank you lord that you are worthy to receive glory and honor and power for lord you have truly created all things and by your will they were created and they have their being including us lord lord we put down any worldly accolades anything that would try and transfer our true honor to human endeavors lord and famous people lord no all honor should be reserved for you lord completely reserved for you Lord, help us this day, Lord, as we acknowledge you and we confess that you are the only one, the only true God. Lord, we recognise you, Lord, we honour you. We recognise, Lord, that you hold the gift of eternal life, Lord, and that our souls need to come through Christ Jesus, Lord, to you, Lord. Lord, we give honour and we bow down in humble adoration and obedience, Lord, to your will and to your way, Lord. Oh Lord, thank you, Lord, that as we honour you, Lord, you are watching us from heaven, Lord God. The Lord Jesus is seated at the right hand side of the Father in heaven, making petitions and praying on our behalf. And so, oh Lord, the Trinity, the Trinitarian God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, oh Lord, we worship you and we honour you today. Receive all our praise, all our adoration, because Lord, you truly are worthy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.